All right, here we are. Engine 35 in Detroit. Hottest day, or hot, could be the hottest weekend of the year. Temperatures in the 90s. So the guys at Engine 35 here in Detroit on Kenilworth, you guys call it Club Kenilworth. We have Firefighter Jackson, don't be shy. Firefighter Spitznagel. You didn't think you wanted your name in there. All right, we're talking uh, heat because these guys, uh, Detroit firefighters, firefighters everywhere, look, it's this hot. Uh, but they still have to go on runs, obviously, and they've got to take care of themselves. So we're going to check out their gear that they have to put on and just kind of see how hot and warm it gets. So let's, uh, we're going to try to do this all right here on camera. Firefighter Spitznagel, what you got? First, you got to put your hood on. This is the hood. This, this no does legs, what? So it protects your head, your ears, your face. So keeps you from burning. heat is just coming in on you guys, and this is under the helmet. Yep. It keeps you good. And then you're a good daddy because you said you wanted your name on there and your daughter put me in. Yeah, okay. Yeah, don't be sure. That's good. That's cool. <laughs> All right, we put this on. You got to come in here so we can see you. Next thing I've never put this stuff on before. Right. Right. Oh, yeah. Next thing you do is yeah. take your yeah. shoes off. All right, so we, your boots. we got the boots here, and then boots. the pants. What are you, the other bunker pants? Bunker pants are right. already attached to them. Yeah. No max. I can already. This is what is this made out of? Oh. No max. No max. The same thing race car drivers use. You got to come in because we can't see you. The same thing that race car drivers use. The same thing that race car drivers use. And you guys wear this no matter what. No matter what the temperature, yes. yeah. winter, winter, summer. Summer, it don't matter. I don't know if you'll fit down to size 11, so. We got some 13s and 14s here. Let's just jam them in. Hi, yeah. it's Captain, excuse so, me. Okay. This is the captain. Cool. <laughs> Thanks for reach the down and grab and pull up. Pull up. Yeah, there you go. All right. I'm pulling. Firefighter Spitznagel, I'm a little bigger than you. Hold on one second here. He is uh, in races. awesome shape, this guy. Yeah, yeah he is. Yeah. He's, he runs a lot. You, all there are 50 miles okay. a day. We'll just do this. Man, you gotta get some bigger ones. All right, I'm six foot three, about 230. Good Lord, Spitz. You don't want to hold on. That's okay. You want to try mine? Captain's here? Captain's taller than me, so that'll be all right. All right, we're gonna get the captain's gear out. This thing is killing me. Yes. That's Look at my face. Welcome to our world. This yeah, is just this. Yes. Yeah, exactly. And then run into a fire. Exactly. Welcome to our world. You gotta be kidding me. I'm ready. Not even dressed yet. Yeah, I'm not going to do very well if I'm an emergency. What size boots are these, Captain? Uh, 12 or 13, I think. Well, these are great. Holy smoke. Oh, okay. All right. Now it's just Here we go. There you go. There. There's probably enough room for me in there, too. But anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah. this All right. All right. We're still rolling here. I'm probably going to need your coat because I'm only a size 42 coat. A little taller. Button these up. I think I had it. And I, what's that coat you Because this is a double 30, XL. This is a 38. 38? Yeah, I don't know if it'll fit in that. Oh my gosh, guys. We're not even in the sunshine. And it's morning. It's not afternoon. Yeah, it's not even hot yet. You ride in the truck oh, that's all with your gear on? Yes. Yeah, can you fit? I can okay. fit. Now for now. Go ahead and velcro it. What's this made of? Same thing, pants are no mix. Oh, Guys, I'm out of breath putting this on. Wait a minute. Okay. This is part of the big time of the training when you're yep. in class. Yeah, it's getting in and out. Suck it in. Suck it in. Suck it, Suck it in. Suck it in. Mm -hmm. I'm losing, man. Captain's coat? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Have you guys measured the temperature, your body temperature? Do you guys know what it could oh, be when you're fighting a fire? Yeah, it's got to be at least. I'd 30 say, to 50 degrees high. Firefighter Jackson, tell tell us there. So how how what do you what's think, your, Spence? I would say at least 30 degrees. degrees. Say, yeah, probably Don't be 30 sure. to 50 degrees yeah. hotter, and that's not including going in the fire. You'll be I dripping think. sweat by the time you're at. 30 to 50 degrees higher. This is heavy, guys. Yeah. How much does all of it wear? Wait. Well, without gear, I'm 170 pounds. With gear, I'm right around 230. Oh my god. Yeah. How do I put this? Oh, this Velcro. And there, and then we got the yeah. helmet. Appreciate this. Now, if you want for a little bit, you can pop that off your head. Because now you got to put your air tank on. Air tank on. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my um, So take this off. Yeah, go ahead no, and pull what? it back. Well, this, no, no, this is the trick. Just take your hood back. This is the trick. Oops. Sorry. Oh, like this. Okay. Yeah, just flip it back. Got it. Go. This way you put your hair, right? <laughs> Look at my face. <laughs> There's more. Yes, All right, so more. we got boots, mm -hmm. we got the pants. We got the tank. Yep. Now this We're feels like it's 40, 50 pounds. Uh, at least. Yep. And these are the new Guys. ones that have your yes. Holy smokes. Your adrenaline's pumping, your body yes. heat's you going up. Give yourself a big jump up. 
jump up. Wow. One more time. There you go. And remember, we do this within a three minute period. Right. Have all this on. Let's put and this the back mask on. Can go on next if you want to put the mask on. Over this. No, you can pull that back down. Pull it back down. And you could tuck that occasionally. Some guys put it on. Okay. Guys, these guys are the pros. What, whatever's burning is burned to the ground if I'm coming. <laughs> I need some training. Right, hold now, this, this and I want to drop the captain's helmet. Goes over your head. Can you put the on? Get that over your chin if you can. There you go. Pull back tight. That feels a little cooler. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah that feels cooler. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Now pull your hood up. Yep. We got you back. Guys, we see you looking all right. How much did you have to get used to? It's like going in space. In training, how much did you have to get used to breathing through this thing? It takes a while. So you didn't feel it? like you were freaking Are you out. Are you riding it? No, be mm. because you feel like uh, you can't breathe. Yeah. You all right? I'm all right, man. Oh, and then now they also require us to have our chin straps on, so right, yeah, some trigger strap. Like, what's worse? I'll, I'll slap the helmet back and put all my mm -hmm. all my equipment properly. All right, there you go. This is everything. That's it. That's, That's it. it. How many pounds is this? Uh, you're probably about 60, 60 pounds. We can see 60, you. About you 50, don't want to be on. About 50, you 60 pounds. Me. <laughs> That's right. You get in there. Okay. How do you, holy smokes, 50 or 60 pounds, yep. your at body least. heat's going up how much? Yes. At least 30. At least 30. Really 30. I am roasting in this. You're, you're walking into an oven, technically. Walk into, then you can feel it. the fire, yes, yeah, you can feel it. Some of the fires are around 500 exposed degrees. areas, you just sometimes feel it. You know, yeah. even if you're normal like right, right here, you're yeah, right there. You'll, you'll, right there. Yeah. Yep, you'll feel it. You're supposed to have your hood wrapped all around. You'll pull it, trust me. There's fires that are so hot, you'll try to pull it. You get up to about 500 degrees. In fact, see, I always left a little beauty mark where I left it. You, Captain, can you show the camera? Oh, go up, show you got a little burn right there? Yeah. I don't know if you Guys, can see I it. Mean, running, with, I mean, you have to be in the You can't see yeah. it. Do some jumping jack. Do some jumping crazy. jack. Whoa. <laughs> Nine and ten. You're carrying stuff? You're running in. Oh my God! Pulling walls down. Oh, brand. I feel like a tambourine. Use an axis. It all and axis. you're getting you're winded axis. as axis. you go. Oh, Use an axis. Yeah. You're right. getting winded. Right, right. you're getting winded. When does this come off? Use it. <laughs> oh my God! Wow. What's worse, a super cold day or a hot day like today? Hot. I'll take. I'll take the. I, I hate the hot day. I'd rather have the super cold. Day. Day. I'd rather have a super cold day. Super cold? cold. Yeah. I because really you're warm. warm. Yeah, you're warm. You're comfortable. You know. And, and then how do you keep yourself cool on a hot day like this when you're coming in and out of a house? Lots of water afterwards. Yeah. We carry a water bucket that we stock with our own. We buy water. We buy dairy. And we put ice in it in the morning. Okay. Every morning somebody puts ice in it to keep it cold. What have we missed? Anything? Nope. Is that a cool? What do we got? A oh, that's our alert. If somebody's knocked out. And Guys, I'm telling you, means you're down and this is you're unbelievable. Down. And we already had our appreciation for Detroit Fire. Thank you, I appreciate you. But we got a whole new appreciation because, wow. I mean, I feel like I'm a strong guy. And this is a workout. Oh, yeah. Just yeah. getting ready. And a lot of times, ready to go. We're in a fire for for at least 45 minutes to an hour, two hours. You know, like yesterday, how long did they work at that fire? Give me so like an hour and a half. Yesterday, hour and a half in all this gear. In all this. Yeah. And then you gotta just keep water and then water. cold towels, that, that helps as well. We wish we had yeah. cold towels. We wish we had <laughs> yeah. Do you need cold yeah. towels? Is that what it is? It would be hard yeah, to come by. I mean like I said, we buy our own water. We buy our own water. We buy Gatorade yeah. and Gatorade. And um, so when you see these guys working, bring them some water yeah. and some cold towels. You know what this reminded me of when I first got on the job? It sure. reminded me of playing football. I mean like you gotta sit okay. on the side of the bench and get yeah. some stuff together. It's that intense. We take take for granted a lot of guys that got on the job were ex athletes anyway, like right, ran track, played like basketball, that. ex football players. Like, okay. Uh, okay. Terry Durod played in the NBA. Yeah. He was uh, he's, 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 he's retiring now. Um, a couple guys that actually were uh, like Darren Tillman actually played a little bit. In the, uh, uh, played for the uh, he played for professional baseball. For about a year or two. He doesn't brag about it. You know, I think okay. he has a card. But there's a few guys that were ex-athletes. You know, like I said, like the ravages of time. You know, you get older. You're right. Doing all the active stuff. Unless you're Spitzenagel, who runs an exercise. Yeah, he's in a super good shape. Fat out of shape. 
Captain, <laughs> that's a wake up call. Well, Jackson, thank, thank you so it. much. Firefighter Spitznagel, yeah. thank you. Whole new appreciation. We already appreciated them. Wait till you try this stuff on. <laughs> See you later. <laughs>